What's up guys, today I'm with Joe X Fitness. Scott Ascot, ho ho. And today we're gonna be selecting a piece of paper from this jar with a muscle in it. And we're gonna be talking about our favorite exercise for that specific muscle. Today we're at Barbell Brigade. So we're gonna get a good workout in. Let's get it. Let's get it. We're gonna have Scott start by picking a piece of paper in here. All right, let's go. Please be chest, please be chest. So for dieting, Scott's gonna have to starve himself for the next 24 hours now. <laughs> what we're doing here is, since this is just more like advice space, we're just gonna give our biggest dieting tips. So I guess I can start with this. So in terms of dieting, especially if you're trying to lose body fat, my biggest thing is incorporating more vegetables in your diet. I feel like that's like the easiest way to like holistically just decrease the amount of calories you eat on a day without even like tracking in the first place, right? Who wants to go next? Tips. Okay. So, depending on your goal, whether it's to lose weight or to bulk up, right, it all depends on your calories. So, a lot of people are kind of like really, really focused on maybe um, what types of food they're eating. But versus of that, it's really about just getting a balanced diet. Like Tyler said, eating your veggies, you know, that's a great way to get in a lot of fiber. That's a good way to fill you up, especially on your if you're like cutting or anything like that. But definitely focusing on your calorie intake for sure. And then eating just an overall healthy diet, balanced macros, all that kind of good stuff. So that's like dieting 101 right there. Focusing on the numbers. Dieting, 80-20 rule, 80-20 rule. If you're not a bodybuilder, you don't need to go 100% at everything. Like you can maintain a healthy diet while still maintaining the foods that you like at a 20% rate. So 80-20 rule, good to stick by in terms of fitness, dieting, anything in the fitness industry. All right? Lats? What is my favorite exercise for lats? My favorite exercise for lats? Oh, it's definitely between two. Some kind of lat row, for sure, tucked underneath, or a lat pull down. So I think, I think we'll go with a lat pull down. Lat pull down, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, let's start with that and let's just go with that one first. Easy start. What handle? favorite handle is definitely getting a wider one and then holding it a bit wide, just okay. past shoulder width. I feel like that gets a really good engagement on the lats. If it's too narrow or way too wide, I feel like I don't get a great contraction. So I just have like that natural, you know, position. So my go-to, I love the mag grip, but definitely the classic lap pull down. I like that, I like that. Alright, let's Exercise we're gonna do underhand. Oh, yeah. We're gonna target our lower lats. All right, let's get it. <laughs>
Fuck. <laughs> Alright, T-Pat. You guys ready for this? What do you buy? Four. Four are wow. interesting. My weak point. <laughs> That's crazy. That's not even in my routine. I don't even. Yeah, I don't even directly train form. Yeah. Let's go again. Yeah. All right. Cut, cut that out. <laughs> All right. We got. Ooh. Shots. Ooh. Dude, this is an easy one for me. Best favorite chest exercise is incline dumbbell bench press. That is hands on the best. Probably your guys' favorite. I grow that upper chest. So we're gonna be hitting that first, and Scott and Joe's gonna tell you guys their favorite chest exercise. Let's get it. Let's go. Woo! Good stuff, boy. one piece and then whoever picks it we're gonna be doing their exercise so we're not gonna go all the way around so Scott that's a short way of saying he's hired <laughs> <laughs> consistency I keep getting these what keeps you confused yeah what yeah so if you'd like to start yeah I'll, I'll start it it's all about how you frame it right like a lot of people are like oh, I'm so tired this so hard if you start to frame it in a positive way like that was a good ass workout like oh I feel great like you start to fall in love with the process it's all about the journey that's with anything that's fitness that's career right you just got to fall in love with the journey and the results will come it doesn't matter about when it's if mm. and when mm. that's good that's yeah. good motivational speaker yeah yeah. yeah okay yeah i think the biggest thing about consistency is over committing right a lot of people in the beginning they tend to try to do everything at once right count right. calories working out trying to get their form good blow up their bench every single week like I think the biggest thing is you want to do things in a sustainable manner so the best workout isn't necessarily the best workout if you can't actually like stick to it in the first place so do things in a sustainable manner and that's really what all my page is about now if you're currently struggling with consistency and you're just looking for you know more personal guidance on your specific fitness goals maybe you want a workout plan maybe you want like a custom meal plan then I highly recommend you apply to my exclusive one-on-one -on -one fitness coaching program Link in the description. Spots are limited, so make sure to apply soon. After you apply and fill out the form, either me and my assistant is gonna reach out to you, so let's get it. So to add on kind of to what Tyler said, I think one of the biggest things is you burn out too quickly. Uh, for me personally, when I first started working out a few years ago, um, that was not the first time I tried working out. For, I would say, a good five years prior, Every few years I get into the gym, then I burn out, I get into the gym six times a week, three hour sessions, really pushing myself, going a little bit too hard from the get-go instead of focusing on more of the long-term goal. I like to kind of think about things kind of like what Scott said about 
fitness is more of a lifestyle. It's more of a journey. You're focused on kind of the end goal and not the immediate two month transformation, the three month transformation. Because at the end of the day, being consistent will always be kind of the short term fast route. And so for me, definitely in order to get that, to be the most consistent, I found personally that getting a schedule, just like anything else, right? Work, school, whatever it might be, having a consistent schedule, getting you into the gym and starting off maybe something that works around your schedule and then kind of upping it from there is the best way to start and the best way to stay consistent. Um, yeah, but besides that, schedule really keeps you on track, you know? And so that's the best way to keep you consistent and that's what I highly recommend for anyone starting out, especially starting out, yeah. Sure, that's sure, let's go. Good advice, y'all. Yeah. That's free game for you guys. <laughs> it really is, it really is. So because we're throwing out such good advice, don't forget to like the video, support my page, and it'll be much appreciated. Go subscribe, go like, turn on post sure. notifications, yes, all that. Hit the bell, hit yes, the bell. All right, what's next, what's next? Please give me biceps. We got some arms. Side delt. Side delt, okay. 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 okay, okay. We got some side delt. So for side delt, I would definitely say you can never go wrong with some dumbbell side lateral raises. That is my absolute favorite. Um, you can do it on the cables, you can do it on the dumbbells, but I personally prefer dumbbells. And so, yeah, that's my goal. Standing, seated. Standing, or? dumbbell, side lateral raises. Oh, for sure. yeah, that's good. Let's do it. Let's do it. Standard. So, for side lateral raises, I think um, two things. Normally, a lot of people like to use a really, really light weight. Uh, that's something I used to do. Really high rep ranges, really light weight. Recently, I've been trying to up the weight a bit, you know, get more comfortable with lower rep ranges. Something around a six to a 10 rep range, I feel like is the sweet spot when it comes to this kind of stuff. The biggest thing, a lot of people, including myself, got wrong when they first started working out. A lot of swinging, a lot of trap movement, stuff like that. And so the thought process I love is thinking about pushing your arms out and to the side instead of kind of jacking the weight up. I love that kind of idea. It keeps your traps not as engaged, has a more, uh, more of an emphasis on strictly the side delt. So, let's go.
After our workout, we made it out to Pasadena to check out this build your own spring roll place called Paper Rice. I swear to God, I've thought about this idea in my head before, so seeing it, <laughs> seeing a restaurant actually do this is really cool. So we got our good going to go, took a stroll around Pasadena, and found this little outdoor area to eat. So I got the chicken lemongrass as well as baked nem in my spring rolls. It was, in fact, very, very tasty. And Frankie got a vermicelli bowl, bun tit nung. Rate my Vietnamese on a scale of one to 10, how good is it? And it was a super lean, really good meal. Thank you, Scott, for the recommendation. Now, if you've been following me for a while, and you know that I don't do many collaborations at all. So it was super cool meeting up with Scott and Joe. And honestly, it got me thinking, like, I should do this more often because it's super cool meeting with other fitness creators, and especially Asian fitness creators, because there's not a whole lot of us, especially in the U.S. So maybe more to come. Thank you, Joe and Scott, for joining me in this upper body workout challenge. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. And we'll see you all in the next one. Peace.